Welcome to Tales of Aldorf City, Leopold. Indeed, because Leopold's so awesome, let's just bring him straight up on screen, just like that. <laughs> right, so we're just going to dive straight in. There's going to be no preamble of awesomeness. We're just going to go with Leopold has just been somewhat taken or taken by. <laughs> <clears throat> taken. <laughs> taken by two. Three. Cleansing Flame. Now, if, for those of you that don't know, the Order of the Cleansing Flame are Burny Inquisitors. Relatively secret. They're one of the few secret orders of Sigmar that have got broad ranging powers within their cult. Including, for example, grabbing someone like the Good Father and making life a bit tough for him. You have just gone through the whole prophecy moment that was in the last stream. And it appears that the two fathers are far more interested in quiet contemplation as they make their way to wherever it is that they're taking you as they just sit there they're not like Gerhard <laughs> they really aren't they're certainly not like you me they're sitting there quiet I don't suppose the, the warrant that they had is, is visible so I can maybe glean some details. <laughs> nope. 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 It's um, almost an hour. Oh, wow. That you are taken from the top of Gwelner Hill, hanging a right down a treed boulevard, and then further from there towards one of the gates out of the city. Hang on. Turning right, making their way all the way around by the city walls, down one of the main roads there, and then arcing off towards forest. So, like, Leopold knows that is not the way to the High Cathedral. That is certainly not the way to the High Cathedral. So I, I think he will, it, it almost certainly is doomed to fail, but he will attempt to, to ask if he could see the, the, war, the warrant. Um, you know, um, excuse me, um, fathers. Um, I wonder if I might see the the writ you used to to summon me. I'm curious precisely where I'm being taken. He says, "You're being taken to the second monastery of the Holy Word." Oh, the second monastery of the Holy <laughs> Word. <laughs> Not sagely, as if he knows what the hell that means. <laughs> The young man clearly yeah. is aware of what that is. I think it's something to do with the Order of the Anvil, but beyond that. Yeah. Give yourself a lower theology test. You are a Sigmarite. If anyone's going to know about this, it might be you. <laughs> I do. Four, Excellent. Four successes. Oh, four successes is good. So the Monastery of the Holy Word is indeed the centre of the Order of the Anvil uh, that is responsible for gathering the Word of Sigmar and creating ecclesiarchal law for the Cult of Sigmar. They are the keepers of all things that are right and wrong in the cult. And they have broad reaching powers, largely because Sigmar's law is also the basis, for example, for Reichland law. There have been lots of changes over time, particularly with so many different uh, emperors or princes or whomever may be responsible for the various laws of the era, but loosely based on ecclesiastical law. Importantly, the law of Sigmar is recognised by the courts. And indeed, monks from this particular order are allowed to pronounce judgment. They almost work as judges, particularly the higher ranking ones, over a host of different courts. And some nobles actually bring in, rather than using Vrenans, for example, monks from the Order of the Anvil to act as judges. And I suspect that's if they're more interested in the law than the truth and justice. That is generally <laughs> the case. Yeah. This is, after all, Sigma has nothing to do with yeah. being the god of justice. For example, he's most certainly the god of the empire, let's say. And of course, the nobles are the empire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Sure they are. Sure. Yeah, 100%. Sure. Totally. As the coach makes it off towards the trees, now, the second monastery, never even heard of such a thing. Indeed, the very name strikes you as somewhat unlikely or somewhat odd because they tend to go for more grandiose terms. It would often be the monastery towards, say, a saint or a blessed servant or something similar. 
uh, they would want to focus whomever it is they were talking to upon the great deeds of a particular Sigmarite person from the past. That's quite common. They rarely would just use second or there's not even any classical here or uh, old on Berrigan. There is no uh, Kalazid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah ca ca it's often used frequently, but not not here. Just just second. It's blunt. It's unexpected. Um, and take of that what you will. It seems like a ridiculous thing to lie about because it would be a really weak lie, hmm. a really weak lie. Which, if anything, probably leaves them going. Maybe it's true. Is that what they wanted me to think? <laughs> oh no! Well, I mean, I suspect he's so in his own head by now that the nerves, the nerves and babbling will get the better of him. You're like, oh, the the second monster of the world. I don't. I mean, I've heard of the first one. I didn't know there was a second. He looks at you. Oh, would you? Fair enough. And he just returns to looking forward. Wow. Chatty. You take solace in the fact that he's not in manacles and they haven't confiscated his stuff. So, yeah, no. you know. <laughs> it all grows a little darker as it moves beneath the canopy of the trees. The sounds are muffled a little more from either side. Out of interest, yes. when Leopold and everyone arrived in Old Dorf, his, yes. his, he had this overwhelming sense of dread. Yes. Does he still have that overwhelming sense of dread? No. Was it like as soon as he left the city? No. Or as I, soon as he got in the coach? It, I, I would say it's more, it's gradually decreasing and he doesn't notice it until he thinks about it. And then suddenly he's like, I'm not sure if it's the same. Yeah. And then he, you, the self-doubt begins to yeah. arrive because it's it's strongly a feeling. Mm -hmm. It's not really something that you can empirically yeah. hang a hook on and say, yep, it's hanging up nicely. But it definitely feels different now. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's a different kind of dread. Yeah. <laughs> Existential. <laughs> yeah. And it continues to make its way through the forest for some time until it starts to wend up a hill. Then it breaks from the tree line. Not that you can see much from where you're sitting, but it's definitely broken from the tree line. So more light is spilling in, although we're in the early evening now. You're not nervous. <laughs> you're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. 100%. Cop, 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 cop. And it stops. They wait. Can I look out the window? Mm -hmm. On that side, uh, you're uh, on a rise and you can see trees spilling out into the distance. The sky darkening over on that side, so clearly you're currently looking over towards the east. Well, good to know, you suppose. Some smoke in the far off distance there. There's a settlement somewhere in amongst the trees there. Wow. On the wrong side of the coast. We've come to the south. Like, are we in the Amber Hills or are we not that? Um, you've gone the wrong way. You've come south and then you've um, arced off west. West, got you. Yeah, totally. And then so you've we've not moved into. Yeah. yeah. You've, um, uh, from your vantage point, you couldn't really see all the farmlands, the marshes, the causeways, and everything else. Mm -hmm. You just kept on going and kept on going. At a fairly decent clip. And then it opens on the opposite side to where you're looking out. There, there's a monk. Good start. Looks like maybe you have been taken to where they said. It's a monk. Good start. He has an anvil um, symbol uh, sitting in the centre, small, stitched, and you might even argue somewhat poorly into his habit. He has a large open tonsure, um, which goes down to small hammers at the side, which you know from experience it's really fucking hard <clears throat> much easier getting somebody else to do it you really wish you had an officiate because so much easier than sitting there oh, no, I've done it wrong I've cut myself oh. let's say his tonsures have looked much better since he's you know kind of met Birdie <laughs> <laughs> yeah absolutely Birdie loves this yeah, yeah. and she has trade grooming too mm -hmm. um, she's, she's good at the job Indeed. this chap equally has obviously spent some time making sure his tonsure is extremely close and extremely neat. And that in and of itself either speaks to a particularly officious fellow or something official. Mm -hmm. As he opens it up and just nods and says, Bothers, um, uh, steps to the side, opens it up. As the one on this side pulls his leg out. God, I'm getting old. Oh, as um, he gets out, 
pulls his red cloak around himself and then hooks off from the side. You didn't even notice. You thought it was part of the curtain. Apparently, it's another cloak. <laughs> and as he pulls it off, black velvet, and puts it over his shoulders, and then you can see the silver and gold hammer sitting underneath it. Two silver, two gold. Interesting. You have no idea what that means. As um, he ties it, then um, pops out first. Is everyone else here yet? I don't know. Who's, who, 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 be quiet. Yeah, yes. Is this the one who spoke the prophecy? Yes. The um, other... Um, Gets out next. <clears throat> Doesn't stretch, but almost feels self-conscious. You can see him. Go, mm -hmm. As he comes in behind and he says, Is everything already, Father? Yes, yes. Well, we're all fine. Turns around, Father. No pulled wool. <laughs> I suspect he doesn't have his pack. That's probably left on the boat, but he'll have his, his shield and his hand. Yeah, yeah. Whatnot. yeah. He's a warrior priest. Yeah. Um, the uh, father, and he's a high priest. He shouldn't be saying father interesting dynamic between these two uh turns back luke sees you looks up towards what lies before you um a relatively small temple i'm not even convinced you'd call it a monastery although perhaps there's some grounds at the back uh quickly glancing over it hammers 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 no symbol of the order of the hammer anvil interesting Twin Tail Comet sitting up there. There's very little here that would have made you think this wasn't almost a small temple to Sigmar from a village or something similar. Not the largest, enough to fit maybe about 50 to 100 in the congregation, much like the one that you came from when you were um, 17, 18, where, when you were a part of the Order of the Torch. It's not a large temple. It doesn't appear to be a monastery, so not it's sure what's going on there. It's a secret monastery. Maybe that's yeah, the... but maybe that's it. Mm. Number two. Seems very odd. As um, the high priest looks at him with his red and his black um, uh, cloak. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, if you could please come this way. He says, and he goes in, opens up the door, leaves it open so that everyone can ferry on by. You all make your way in. On the inside is what appears to be a standard temple. There's a sacristy at the far end, obviously no pews. This is a temple of Sigmar. There is a single monk standing <clears throat> his hands down by his side his head down doing some form of prayer up at the sacristy itself there's a single throne empty suggesting that sigmar is one day going to return and sit in this temple 100 percent going to happen <laughs> um sitting uh there it's made of stone it's relatively poorly carved and looks old it also looks a bit weathered which is interesting given that it's inside the temple beyond that some stained glass windows relatively poorly rendered you could imagine if Gerhardt was here he would be biting his tongue about the poor quality of the artwork that's being put on display here but it doesn't look anything special nor would you say particularly exciting or interesting as um one very important detail yes as he crosses the threshold does it feel like holy ground yes Whew, okay he will like Lupo will visibly relax. <laughs> <laughs> will visibly be like, okay. I'm ready for a fight. I'm ready for a... Oh, okay. Okay. They're not... Probably right. not fake priests leading me into a trap. <clears throat> Maybe. As the um, Inquisitor at the front turns round, looks at the boy. Where is everyone? He says, um, I'll, I'll, I'll just go see if they're ready for you. Quick about it. He scarpers off and hangs a right and goes into the main, well, the claw of the hammer, so to speak. Uh, it is a hammer shaped temple. Heads into there and you can hear a as he goes downstairs. The black robed priest, inquisitor, don't forget their inquisitors. Don't forget their inquisitors. It's really easy, to, particularly from the back, to just think of them except for those tonsures, but with the hood up. They're inquisitors. Not liking the idea of being picked up by inquisitors. You've done many things that people think are heretical. <laughs> I've also killed a lot of mutants. Yes, you have. That'll stand in your name, right? Yeah. With them, not with the emperor, but with them. <laughs> he looks somewhat impatient and he leans forward and he whispers something. Got a cute sense hearing? No. <laughs> no, I do he definitely not. whispers something 
um, into there. He turns around and he goes, get, 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 get off me. Get off me. I don't have time for this. He turns round, um, and as he looks and paces over towards one of the windows, the one in black, you can see his face is very, okay, fair enough. Looking slightly annoyed with the sit, with the higher ranked inquisitor, who um, looks around, moves over, stands, and starts praying. You yeah. do. I mean, I think Lube will probably want to do the same, actually, but will probably, in a with that, you know, it's like stubbornness of youth. Uh, we'll want to make it very obvious he's praying as a warrior priest. So I don't want to like potentially like kneeling with his hammer upright in front of him. You don't kneel, you stand. Oh, you stand. Oh, yeah. Standing, like leaning like no, that on his hammer yeah, then. That, that feels like a nice warrior priest thing to do. You'll stand like that and, and he will also pray. Yeah. Well, I can pray better than <clears> you can. <laughs> One does not prostrate oneself before Sigmar. Yeah, there's no need to do so. More just he's tired, but he's been sitting for a while. So and that's one of the reasons why you have to stand. It strengthens you. Fair. Yeah. Builds the core. Strengthens everyone in turn. It's um twenty minutes before someone else comes. When one is in quiet contemplation and prayer, and one is also sort of dreading whatever may be coming, that's not necessarily a long time. Kind of wish it was longer. But clearly there is impatience from the one who paced to the window, who then slowly paces round the temple, looking at things, looking at windows, looking over at the sacristy, looking up and down the throne, looking over into the hammer, disappearing out of sight as it moves into the head, then moves over past the sacristy, back into the claw, comes, comes back around, got it until eventually the High Inquisitor says, stop moving around. So he goes, hmm. And he turns around and he starts praying. He jitters slightly. And then thankfully, or not thankfully, depending on your preference, the young one returns. Um, you, you're now welcome downstairs. About time, says the one in black. And impatiently moves forward, realises what he's doing and stops, and waits for the High Inquisitor to decline to pass him. <laughs> the High Inquisitor says, Brother, his voice suddenly becoming much stronger and clearer. But yeah, he passes him his black, and then makes his way down the stairs. Inquisitor follows. Lupo also follows. It's a tunnel. Fifteen minutes of freaking tunnel. <laughs> No wonder it took him so long to get there. He must have run and run all the way back. <laughs> there was no great wait. He wow. ran down the length, came back. Fit monk. Barely even showed any sweat. Mm -hmm. Not pecking. Fair play. Respect. Fair, Fair, Fair play. play. <laughs> As he walks along. It's clear you're not the only one that's a little bit surprised at what's going on. There's not a left or right. There's no side doors. There's nothing. It's just tunnel straight away along. It's enough. But the priest and Eric say, how long is this thing? And the monk, who's at the front, goes, we're almost there, Father. Didn't feel like it. So eventually you arrive at the far end of it, and it goes up some steps, and it takes you out um, at, of all things, a garden of more. This is very strange. Which is not... And does, does it feel like holy ground as well? Like it is consecrated? Yes, it is. I mean, again, weirdly, that will actually calm Liverpool because the thing he's worried he's in trouble for is obviously placating other gods, <clears throat> whereas he feels that that's very Sigma, right? So he'd be like, yeah. okay. <laughs> you make your way um, across it, and as you do, um, you pass by an arch, and in the arch on one side is Verena. She's like that, with her head tipped forward, her arms back, wearing, uh, it's made of stone, so wearing, it's difficult to tell, but it's a bit long, almost classical style robes with her head tipped forward. Um, on the other side is an old um, statue of Myrmidia. Um, she, um, by comparison, is wearing only a sash. Not what you would expect to be in the presence of an inquisitor only a sash that hangs about her waist and she's um uh, forward as well and she touches his head with her uh mother as they pass through and as you do you feel a thrum 
of of divinity that they are blessed and it all sinks in you know exactly what's happening you know exactly what's happening but you only know exactly what's happening because you've been told about this what do you have to understand says high capitular Werner Stoltz he's in his 30s late recently taken on the job <clears throat> is that when you go to one of these meetings they, these things they got to make sure you're not a bad sort you see and apparently so I've been told I say so I've been told I got trooped through this ridiculous charade which I thought was a charade until I got there they got to make sure that you pass muster and the only way they can make sure you pass muster is to have the literal gods gaze down upon ye and make sure that you are not tainted. At least, that's how I like to um, present it. He says, and I know I'm not supposed to talk about these things, but I'm congratulating myself, he says, for um, having been granted permission, he says, to see the silver flame with my own eyes in my robes, he says. So, as um, he looks around, um, you, all of you, he says, we're getting drunk tonight because this is the first time that's happened in 240 years. So all of you need to come up with some sort of anecdote about when you were trooped through a ridiculous procession because that's what's going to happen to me in one week. <laughs> when I get sent through the entirety of Middenheim, I've got to go through every district. I've got to go to, oh, you don't know what I have to do, but I'm going to have to go through them all. And then eventually I'm allowed up to the High Temple itself, where I'm allowed to go in and commune with the flame for, and I quote, <coughs> three heartbeats. Two minutes. So, you can all attempt to do that. And it harks back at it. To become a High Capitular, he had to go through not this. This is somewhere else. This is not what he went through. He went through something in Altdorf. You know that that was a part of something he did and that the Grand Theogenist himself appointed him. Quite an impressive feat. But uh, here, out in the wild, it appears they're doing something similar. Something that's been blessed, something that's holy. And you're being passed through. You expect another. You're almost expecting some sort of holy pool of shalia. <laughs> There's a certain level of eagerness, youthful eagerness. Yeah. What am I going to get next? Am I going to pass? Well, if any pass. of them didn't like me, because Shally might not like a warrior priest. Mm, true. You know. But if Shally doesn't like a warrior priest, she's probably not going to like an inquisitor either. <laughs> Seems fair. Yeah, I like your thinking. You don't go past a handy pool of Shalia. What you do go past, though, is a shrine to Ulrich. Um, a simple stylized U. Uh, even simpler rendition of a wolf on it. This is old. And a small pile of ancient rusting weapons that have clearly been here for a long time and new ones have been put on top and just left to rust. You can smell the stale beer. Clearly they've poured beer on it at different times and that's obviously helped with the rusting. And you pass by and you hear it again definitely holy ground to Ulrich wolves hot breath at your ear <laughs> almost like you're being hunted really feels like something's behind you really feels like you're about to get your neck bitten yeah you can go check that he's one he's trained for this <laughs> trained for this Oh, he's going to fortune point this. <laughs> fortune point this. Do mine as well. I've just rolled two tens die again. Uh, that's better. That's better. That's a pass. Six and, successes. Um, fortune point. Um, that's a pass and a pass. <laughs> I did all right on my side too. As they all go by, the uh, chap in black, the Inquisitor, I'm the High Inquisitor, shivers slightly as he goes by. How many successes did you get? Six. Six. Oh, you don't shiver. You're fine. As um, you make your way by. You go down a hill and through a small copse and are suddenly assaulted with <laughs> um, a, a, a roaring sound. Again, tool test. 
Uh, two successes. So. Superb. That's enough to just simply ah! um, back off. The chap in black falls to the ground. Um, a, a pure savagery hits you. And then you're through it. And you can see a wide spread oak. And in the center of it is a sheaf of wheat carved into the cent carved into the bark itself. But this isn't holy to Raya, this is holy to Tal. This land is holy to Tal, and it appears to have once been holy to Raya. No longer is. Interesting. Just an interesting note. This is most definitely not Ryan Holy Ground. Although it may once have been. As you pass over a relatively empty clearing by the tree, over to the other side, down a set of steps, stone and noteworthy, all hollowed in. These steps have been passed down multiple times. And it does make you start wondering the age. Stairs with that much of an incline, at least 100 years old. The fact that there's a Myrmidian statue that's old, that possibly takes it to 200 years old. Um, Myrmidia has really only been in the Empire, as you know, lower theology, um, for only about a thousand years to any extensive degree, although knowledge of her has existed for at least a good almost 2,000 years. Uh, but certainly not knowledge enough to build statues. Um, difficult to place how old this is, but it definitely doesn't feel new until eventually you find yourself in a vineyard. As you move down and then up a hill over it and vineyard spread out in the distance. That's a monastery. <laughs> That's what you were looking for. There we go. Did he walk all the way through there? Or was there someone waiting for him at the other end of that graveyard? Are you the only one that's gone through this? Have others just gone straight to the monastery? There's a small part of you that can't help you suspicious. Maybe it's them they're testing and not you. Mm -hmm. Makes one feel better. Yeah, definitely that. You're pretty convinced that they've taken you this way on purpose. But why the pause? That means one of these two have definitely got a superior here. Superior to a high inquisitor. There is only one. Well, at least the person who signed the warrant, right? There is only <laughs> one. Oh, it's not the Grand Theogenist. Oh, okay. No, no, no. That, that, there's one above him. Okay. Um, that would be the uh, head of the entire order. Whew. Well, that's a, that's a worrying thought. Wouldn't like to meet someone like him. Okay. It's about another 15 minutes of a walk. Until eventually you arrive. There are no warrior priests standing guard. There are no great piles of guards. It's just a simple monastery, not even monks hanging around. Although when you pass through the front doors, again, holy ground, this is all holy ground, right out to the edges of the uh, vineyard. As you pass over the threshold, uh, you can hear distantly the sounds of chanting. Prayers. Male voices. Definitely a monastery. Not an abbey. Yeah. Correct symbology. Maybe it is the second monastery of the... It doesn't sound right. You can't get over the fact. It just doesn't be, sound right. I mean, he'll be, right. he'll be craning his neck like, looking for like inscriptions or plaques. Or... Yeah. You get a strong sensation this place is old because it's lacking many of them. Mm. Mm. That's even weirder though, right? Mm. It's the second monastery, but it's it really feels, old. feels clandestine. Mm. That's what it feels. That is what it feels. You make your way over, following the pair of them, up through an empty hall. There's another sacristy sitting at the top, and you're taken down the side through a door into a refectory, empty, just long tables, Along through that over to the far side through another door into another chamber this one's clearly a vestry why the vestry is beside the refectory you're not too sure but there's robes all over the place oh maybe it's because of what lies on the other side as he shucks off his red one and takes a black one wraps it round with an anvil the monk who's with you takes one down says this one's for you father thank you brother one black robe. Well, black's well, not a robe, strictly speaking, it's a cloak. Yeah. But one I guess um, I'll black to shield off, yeah. <laughs> cloak on, <laughs> shield on again. Um, and it's um, designed clearly to go over a breastplate. 
lamentation <laughs> to the lost breastplate. Short term goal. <laughs> Get one back. Um, and, and has a clasp of a silver flame in the front. Huh. Nice. Um, his one, as you see, is a simple flame. Different style to yours. Your one is silver and gold. His one is just gold. As the uh, monk says, uh, so, uh, are you ready for this, uh, our brother? Give me a moment. I shall contemplate. The other inquisitor. In a desperate attempt to humanise himself just in case this does go bad, he's going to attempt to lock eyes with that guy and sort of smile. <laughs> Charmingly. That, that, if anything, makes him go harder. Okay. Look away again then. Worth a try. Yeah. You can't do a charm test. Just because he looks hard doesn't mean he wasn't influenced. I'm very, very charming. <laughs> oh yeah, that'll be six successes. Oh, nicely oh, done. No, it won't. It'll be more than that. Uh, etiquette cultist will make it... Add an extra one. Seven. Is he a noble? Um, this guy is not a noble. Ah, nuts. That would be another plus one. Uh, I think that's it. Sounds Seven good. successes. <clears throat> nice job. And then he goes, I'm ready. And uh, the monk goes up to the door and goes... It's the Cleric of Sigmar. It is another plus one. Sigmar's heirs. Ah, nice. Yeah, 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 totally. Bangs on one. It's probably shaking the camera. <laughs> it's an earthquake um, and uh, from the other side um, you hear a voice say <clears throat> by the hammer by the sword and by the comet and he, he replies <clears throat> by the hammer by the sword and by the comet comes a flame a flame and a wolf you may enter And he opens the door. And it's a hall. And a big one. You're a little surprised at its size because from the front, you hadn't noticed an area that was quite so open and empty. But as you pass through, it makes a lot more sense. It's open at the top. It's not so much a hall as it's a big walled area with half of a roof. Let's say it's that. But it's open to the sky at the top of it. And there must be about 400 in here. This isn't where the chanting's coming from either. They're all silent. Sitting in seats. In a big U circle. Leaving the front entirely open where there's five chairs. As um, the monk um, says, What? <laughs> Is everybody else wearing a black yep. cloak? Yep, every single one of them. Make an attempt to sort of surreptitiously glance at what symbols they've got on. You're going to buy a lot of bags yeah. at the moment. Right. Um, as then you're taken down, they are left um, at a different place and you're taken all the way round. Quite a lot of shuffling and excuse me's as you're going by. You can go past quite a few. It's not small. <laughs> uh, lots of Order of the Torch here. Simple torch symbol. No hammers, uh, it's just a simple torch. Passing by the order of the torch, passing by the order of the torch, and one you just don't recognise. That looks like a... Let's say it's a claw. Hmm. A wave? Definitely something. Skranarak, maybe? It could be Skranarak. Nice the one, the Dragon Dragon. Ogre's Claw. Maybe from the order of Skranarak, because you're getting pumped, not beside that one, but beside the next. <clears throat> and there's a woman that you drop by, her one is there, and on it there is a hammer. But the hammer doesn't look like Galmaraz, as you would know it. It's a, a far simpler style of hammer with a single, what appears to be, let's, let's call it a gem. There's a circular thing in the middle, at least, um, with a very simple haft. Um, she is just head down. Almost everyone is head down. Silent contemplation. As I presume you said. Yeah. And the monk makes his way all the way back. Excuse me, sorry. Excuse me, sorry, sorry. Excuse me. You can see this is happening in a few other places. Wow. You're on holy ground, and you are surrounded by an awful lot of 
becloaked sigmarite in what feels like the middle of nowhere. What on earth is going down? I mean, unless this is the thing that we read about, unless this is the convocation of saints. But if that was the case, wouldn't it have taken place in the Grand Cathedral, you presume, or somewhere important? Not if if it's clandestine. Maybe. I mean, if we're to, if it is a convocation to talk about whether the emperor, the you know, titular head of the <laughs> the empire, is somehow corrupt or you know his judgment is compromised, mm-hmm. then you can see why they might not want to do that somewhere they could be easily arrested. Yeah. Where are all their coaches? Did they go through what you went through? Did they all go through? It seems so unlikely. None of it makes logistical sense, at least from the perspective of where he's sitting. Clearly, it must, because they're here. This is an illusion. Yeah. Oh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> hang on. I've been here before. <laughs> hang on. Is this an illusion? Yeah. How did we wake up last time? I can't remember. <laughs> no. No, no. No, this is all too real. Yeah. He didn't get the whole holy feeling thing in, yeah. the, in the illusion. Hmm. Quiet contemplation for a while then. Yeah. So slowly, the remainder of the seats fills up. It doesn't fill up completely. You don't know how many there are, but you've got enough of a... Uh, there's five rows, one, two, three, four, five, so there's a 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 100, and 500. That means there's one. You miscounted when you first came in. There might be enough for over a thousand here. Uh-huh. Maybe even more than that. And just as you're coming to contemplation on that one, a single bell rings. Bell. Mm. It's almost tubular in terms of its resonance. So, as a hammer strikes again. And it's down at the far end. And it is almost a tubular, but it's a double tubular bell attached to the top. Forming a, let's call it a comet. It's charitable. <laughs> But it also looks old, so maybe it's just an old comet. Let's say it's that. And then a third. It's got an odd reverence because of the way that the two of them ring. And then at the far end, a door opens. And five come trooping in. All men. One, two, three, five. All old, all tonsured. Not one of them under 60. Anything they're wearing black robes. Given where you've been in your life, no. Like, for, like is one of them the Grand Theogenist? You're not even sure what he looks like. No, he saw him on a holy day uh, in Altdorf once. Yes, he did. Not up close. Yes. Not up close, but he did see him. Uh, yeah. Any of them could be then. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. None of them, you know, Hanley standing like that on a no, war altar. No, no, no. No war altar, no giant great Jade Griffin sitting upon... Nope, nope, nope. Uh... In fact, if anything, it's it's very, very staid. You've been to many a Sigmarite and festival. Did not look like this. Did not have black robes. Did not look anything resembling this. As <clears throat> they sit down, <clears throat> and the central one stands up amongst the five and looks around <clears throat> and speaks with a decent amount of projection behind him because there is nothing making his voice louder than it actually is loudly to the gathered masses of you presume priests priestesses clerics most certainly sigmund's chosen he says you have been summoned because we, for the fourth time, in the order of the torch's history, have reached a point where we must make a clear decision that is a betrayal to the word, no matter what choice we make. I am empowered to take our decision 
to the Council of Lectors so that we may inform them of our opinion. This vote will be held in secrecy. It will be anonymous. The order of the anvil shall stand over it. And they shall ensure that no falsehood, no lie, no undue influence has been put in place by any party. I call the keeper of the word. And he goes back and he sits down. Second one to his left stands up. <clears throat> I'm the keeper of the word. He says. We have a simple decision to make and then you may discuss it amongst yourselves or not as you wish. You will have two hours. No more, no less. You will not, under any circumstance, use undue pressure. The word is clear. The decision must be made freely. In two hours, you will all be given a ballot. It will be secret. You will mark your preference. And it will be gathered by the ballot master. I call the ballot master. He sits down. I, 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 <clears throat> I, I, I'm, I'm the ballot master, he says. I'll be taking the ballots. And, or, 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 and they've been pre-prepared. He says, all you need to do is uh, make your mark, whatever it may be, on your preference. I'll be collecting them uh, as you leave. Uh, all ballots will be available uh, 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 at, the, at, the, at the front, uh, where I will be standing. Uh, you can take it at any time over the next uh, two hours. You cannot leave without casting a ballot. So, uh, and I shall receive it, and they shall be counted before us all. Oh, no, no, um, he says, no, sorry, uh, um, they will be counted when you are out, uh, they're not before us all, they will be counted before us all, uh, and we will then take the opinion. Yes. Two of them look at him. Uh -oh. And he backs off. Oh no, no! I, I call. He says, um, the, 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 the high father of the monastery. That the, the, the chancellor of the monastery. He says. And uh, you see one of them lean over. Uh, the high abbot of the monastery. He sits down. Oh, he's sweating. <clears throat> this one stands up tall, almost as tall as you, maybe taller, difficult to tell when you're standing beside him, clearly taller than the rest. Hi, oh, fathers, our mothers, fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters. I'm the high abbot of this here monastery. I am here to tell you that I find this a tremendously difficult position to be in. I am the only one who can call this and I called it yesterday. I contacted I, I contacted the High Cathedral and I said that this had to happen. Turns out that they'd already put out the call because they'd made the same call but they were doing it for a different reason. So as I have authority and right I have overruled them and I have taken liberties to ensure that the electorate council does not take a vote until they've been advised properly in a perfect world in a perfect world we wouldn't be here in a perfect world we would uh, we would have had more time to gather everyone together but 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 we don't have time 
We need to have a response from the cult on this now. And with that, I pass over to the declarant. He sits down. <clears throat> the oldest of them stands. Pulls out a pair of spectacles. <coughs> But you need to speak up. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, <coughs> um, um, gathered blessed folk of Sigma, he says, I am here to declare that the Emperor has declared through edict that mutation is no longer illegal in the Empire. He has, through edict, made it clear that imperial law should be by imperial concern. Uh, where was I? Uh, should be by imperial concern. <clears throat> uh, to contradict the word of Sigma. As we all know, the 312th law makes it clear that mutation shall not be suffered under any circumstance. And whilst we have as a council uh, much debated uh, 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 exactly what mutation means, that it's quite certain to all of us that the points that we debate are infinitesimally small as his voice gets stronger and stronger the more he speaks. Infinitesimally small in comparison to what we do know. And this edict... Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, right, uh, sorry, as I was saying. Uh, uh, where was I? Uh, right, right, yes, 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 of course. Um, 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 uh, um, right, so uh, the Emperor of Edict and uh, uh, we, 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 are, we, 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 we as the Conclave of the Blessed need make decision whether we support the Emperor as we must or whether we Or whether we don't, as we cannot. But to do so is to deny the word of Sigma. He sits down, and the one in the middle stands. Until you hear the ninth bell ring, Pray for our souls, he sits. 45 minutes before the ninth bell rings. I mean, to be fair, it's a pretty big theological dilemma. <laughs> it probably does require quite a lot of uh, soul praying. And it's a toughie. The emperor is sitting in Sigmar's seat. He is Sigmar. He expresses Sigmar's will in many respects. According to many of the laws, it's not just one or two of the laws, the Emperor stands in Sigmar's place. And yes, lots of Emperors have done lots of foolish things, but they don't transgress Imperial law, Sigmar's law. Oh, they make up some new crazy stuff and they might, I don't know, allow their horse to inherit. Or at least give it a damn good go. Or sell off Marienburg. Or sell off Marienburg. Yeah, for example. Um, and that, 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 that was close to transgressing imperial law. Close, but... I mean, breaking up the empire. It's it, problematic. It, it's problematic, <laughs> yeah. But the, the cult of Sigmar has seen worse. But this... This is enough that apparently has dragged a lot of people together and far more people than you ever thought would be here. And in your half hour, three quarters of an hour, but at least 15 minutes worth of half panic, in your half hour of actual thought, 
you're reminded of a single conversation, well, possibly multiples because the scathing examples that came afterwards over multiple periods, but one conversation when you were sitting in Altdorf with Alamenawai, all people. And she was expressing a general dissatisfaction with humanity as she's wont to do. And conversation turned as it was wont to do towards the fact that when you're in your cups, you can't help but feel that the world is doomed. This is something that she shares with you. She also feels the world is doomed. This is something that has become a shared place of, let's say a meeting of minds. And the most uncomfortable thought comes to your mind. And it's really uncomfortable. And it kind of makes you squirm. Because when the end times come, and the end times come again and again, in cycles, the end times aren't so much when the end comes, it's when the end could come. And Alan White was the one that made you make that distinction. All these end times, and she was like, no, it's potential. And it could happen, and it is up to us to ensure it doesn't. She said one of the signs was the multiplication of witches. Particularly amongst humanity. Where those with power start popping up all over the place. Not priests. Witches. And you can't help but think on it. Because when you were last in Altdorf, which admittedly was some time ago, you passed by a sum total of three. Not that long ago. Four. Well, not that long ago. No, yeah. no. I mean, when you last passed through and stayed, yeah. but not just passing through. That was a poor way of phrasing yeah. it. Like about when you passing on before you went up to. Yeah, that Amsterdam. was a long time ago. You passed a full three blessed priests, one of whom was in that big, big procession, the Grand Theogenist himself. Three. Look at this room. Do they, do, the people around me, like, do they, is there a full spectrum of ages? Do, are a lot of them quite young? There is a big mixture, yes. It's not, witchery comes, and you know, yeah, yeah, spoken exactly. to Elric, yeah. witchery comes in your youth. You just can't get rid of the niggly thought. That's what Alan and wife wants. She's always planning tricksy things. <laughs> That's it. You're just all mutants, just like, you know. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fall into her trap. <laughs> But it does give you a line of inquiry. One that will be unlike anyone else here. When did Sigmar come to you? Mm -hmm. Everyone else is going to be going through uh, an almost rush panic job. But you've got a different question to ask. Mm -hmm. Assuming you want to. Yeah. Hell yeah, I want to. 45 minutes pass. And these gathered folk, many of whom are not here by their own choice, some of whom are, some of whom uh, were expecting something quite different at the Grand Cathedral and have been shipped out here, don't immediately stand. There's almost an embarrassed pause while a whole bunch of folk decide whether they want to be the first to speak. If you wish to be first, you can because there's going to be a pause of at least five seconds before anyone else does. And if you want to dive into that vacant, empty space, you are welcome to do so. I mean, the only thing that, that would be holding him back is, is there a protocol to how one is meant to speak? Um, in what regard? As in, should you wait for others? Yes, you should for, wait for those who are ranked above you yeah. to speak first. In so which there is case, a protocol. In which case, he, he will. Yeah. It like, takes he, about he's got five the practice of you before for, yeah. one of the five at the top said, mm -hmm. the main man himself, who was there, he said, I'm going to talk first. It's clear, it is simple. We must support the emperor. This is not a law, it is an edict. We support the emperor, not the edict. The emperor can simply have made a mistake, and that mistake is made clear by the fact it doesn't go through the Volksala. It is a complicated, fine line, but a line that we must take. We cannot, we cannot withdraw support from the emperor. The alternative is unconscionable. Are we going to replace him? No. And that is what I believe. Rubbish! Comes a call. Nonsense! And it devolves swiftly. Should have spoken first. <laughs> <laughs> swiftly. 
Uh, many just don't talk, and they're just looking around at others. Some are now shouting. One has somehow got papers from somewhere, <laughs> and he's flapping them like so. Oh, no, they're prayer parchments. Oh, it makes more sense now that you focus in on it. Um, and he's pointing at them, screaming. Of uh, each one, he's come prepared of the laws that have been broken by the emperor. The laws of Sigmar. Sigmar's own spoken laws that his, his order protects. Others are taking completely different views along the lines of, it literally doesn't matter. We've gone through far worse than this. This is just a stupid, ill, broken man saying things without any evidence he's ill, broken or stupid. Um, others are attempting to gather folk around them. Now listen, listen, listen. It's quickly devolved. You can wend through it as you will, attempt to engage with it as you will. It's entirely up to you, but... It's clear that a lot of people here have very strong opinions and they've not been able to vent them because to vent them is to create a position. Mm -hmm. And some of them have really got a position and their position is often deeply entrenchedly support of the emperor, if not what he says, because that's what the empire is. You can't defend the empire and attack the emperor. And on the other side... <laughs> Can't you know? Well, I think that is a very fair point because on the other side, it's the exact opposite. There's um, extremes of views. One over there that thinks the emperor has to be deposed. He has broken imperial law. There is only one who can do it. Only one, a single noble with the right to claim that the emperor um, has gone too far. And even he strictly can't do it because it's the emperor he has to take down. All he can do is bring it to court, do the court, and then at the end of it, make a judgment which the emperor can ignore. Great. And do you really want to go through all of that? The only other alternative is to break other laws of Sigmar. Hit him in the head. I mean, that's obviously extreme. Push him down the stairs. Push him down the stairs. More so. <laughs> What's the problem? <laughs> um, uh, but it's altogether too public. And they are arguing. Some are just sitting. Some are just shaking their head. Oh, he's crying over there. Wow, he's actually crying. Oh, he's not the only one. Wow. And apparently all of them, each and every one of them, is crunch point. You've got to make a decision on the spot. Either enter and complete the seer career, or you don't know where your visions come from. If you enter and complete the seer career, they definitely come from Sigmar. You could have forewarned me to let me look at the career. <laughs> ah, no, no looking, no, no, purposely leaving you in a horrible spot. If you enter it, definitely coming from Sigmar. That's out of time. That's not me tricking you or anything enter similar. And complete. And when you say enter and complete, which tier of it? Um, you will need to complete the second tier and you can enter the second okay. tier. You don't need to enter the first tier. You can go straight into the second tier. So um, that's the see your career. That's why I said see your career. It's not Excellent. the second tiers per se, because lots of second tier yeah, careers. Yeah, um, but the, the, yeah, yeah, the actual, see, the actual the, see your career. Yeah. Crunch point. Do one, just one clarifying <laughs> question. Yes, yes, yes. Conversation we had pre-stream about yes. status. That all yes, still applies. Yes, that will all still apply. Definitely still apply. Let's do it, baby. Let's go to see her. <clears throat> Unexpected. <laughs> As he's sitting there and he's contemplating it all and he's watching it all devolve, he sees the first fist fly escorted out immediately. Um, it went too far and they no longer get to have a say. And you know he did that so he didn't need to vote. And you know it. This isn't how it's supposed to be. And in your gut, nothing about this feels right. Why are there so many of them? Why are they all in Altdor? Why are they all here? I mean, how did they find me? Right? <laughs> like, how did they know exactly where Leopold would be? Mm -hmm. The seer career has got talent that allows you to see visions. It's basically what you've got already, but with one key difference. You don't need to take it because you've got it already. 
you have to be blind. And that's how you can always tell a seer, because they're blind. The physical world cannot trick them, cannot lie to them. You know this with a certainty. Blindness is key. Because the material world is at the whim of the winds of magic. Which means it's at the whim of the dark gods. The world is a lie. Mm -hmm. And you have to see past that to the truth. Oh, no, I don't like this. Justice is blind. Justice is blind. Verena, when she casts judgment, wears blindfold. Because the material world lies. And the more you realize that all of their eyes are open as they're debating, supposedly as breasted priests of Sigmar, the finer points of something they simply can't understand. It's beyond them, certainly beyond you. But they have to make a decision for the cult. They have to. Are there, like, looking around, is there anybody who looks blind? Like, does it look like there are actually any seers here? Time to have a wonder. Yeah. You pass by two debating priestesses. They do not look happy. You hear someone screaming at the back. It's the emperor! You see some quite decent theological debates between a small knot of monks who are all um, talking to each other, attempting to figure out the best response to it. Click through them all. You're not the only one walking around, but most of them look quite aimless. They don't know what they're supposed to be doing. This is they, 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 There's a lot of hoverers, people sitting on the edges of debate, nodding, mm. shaking their heads. Yeah. yeah, they're all really awkward. Some of them aren't. The older ones, the more mostly order the torch. They're very used to using their voice to get their own way, are, are debating but they're not. They're stating their opinions yeah. like they will accept. Oh, of course you've got this, but they've all shut down already. Yeah, they're just yelling at each other. Yeah. And at the back over there in the corner is your first potential candidate. You can't help. But pop over and have a little look. Uh, an old man who's got cataracts. Potentially what you're looking for. And he doesn't look up even when you arrive. Like everyone else, you can get that tension of blessedness. What's his badge? Um, order the torch single torch there's no indication of rank is there nope none of these cloaks none <laughs> father probably father probably does hmm. father slightly head lifts up he says I was listening sorry I can leave you to you he says no what is it father I just you have an opinion on this I feel like None of them, none of them can understand this. But a decision has to be made. But by them? No, this is an advisory decision. It will be left to the Grand Theorginist to make the final call. We're simply stating what we believe is the correct way forward. But what makes us the right judge of that? I don't think that's the right question. And his eyes drift in your direction. He goes, who's fixing the agenda? Why is it a binary choice? Who demands the ballot? I'm sure I'm not the only one thinking this or even saying it. But I can't help but feel that's the case. Fair point. He's certainly not saying anything particularly seer esque. No. He just seems to have. Uh, he knows people. Yeah, he knows people. Quite. Perhaps time to withdraw, yeah. see if there's anyone else. Thanks, Father. He says, Of course, Father. If you want out, just hit someone, I suppose. <laughs> you are a warrior priest, I guess. True. I thought so. So, yeah, I wouldn't want to hit someone lest I rid the empire of one of Sigmar's servants. And with a smile, he'll sort of <laughs> walk away. 
<laughs> you have another few non-starters. One woman with her um, head down, praying. Difficult to see one way or the other. Only way to do so is to ask. She looks up and she's most definitely not blind. And she's definitely upset you interrupted her. And that quickly turns into a uh, almost invective laden thing, but you can see her biting her tongue. She's so angry. Very apologetic. And then she starts to cry. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is not a good place. No. <clears throat> you pass by um, a large group of debating Order of the Torch. They have opinions and they're being shared one way or the other. Um, one suggests they should just march from the palace and demand that the emperor change his opinion. That's what we should do. That's what should be done. Um, and someone replies to that with a clear, well, are we supporting the emperor or are we not? That sounds like you're not. So that's your position. And he's like, no, no, that's not my position. I'm just saying that we should do this. In lieu of ballot. Yeah. Quite, yes. Looks like he's trying to get out of it, loosely. So the person who insisted on what's your position? Mm -hmm. Old, young? Um, uh, middle aged, in his 40s. Accent? Uh, a local um, Altdorf, almost certain. Politician. Politician, yeah, that seems likely. Um, you find yourself um, another older priest, uh, priestess in this case. Uh, sh she could have been a target, but again, the conversation is relatively mild. It's an impossible decision, really. She says, what can we do? We must do something. We can't allow this to stand and the people are looking for an answer. And I can't accept, I just can't accept that the answer that we have before us is, well, acceptable. They don't want to make a choice. It's clear lots of people here don't want to make a choice. But some have quite also clearly made it. They know exactly what is the right thing to do. Support, don't support the emperor actively as a cult um, and you hear multiple times as you're making your way around uh, for all this is fundamental to us it doesn't actually make a difference what we vote individually it's all about what we as a group think so it's okay to disagree it's fine to disagree it's all right to have different opinions what matters is that you form an opinion of some sort and nail it down so that we can say as a group this is what we think so when it goes off to the Grand Theogenist and the Council Electors, all the lectors, when they get around and they discuss it themselves, they can say, what did this particular group say? And the answer is, it thinks, on balance, this is the correct route. It will effectively be like having one extra voice at that table, one voice representing everybody here. So debate it, but have a different opinion. That's all right. This one, however, this one might be what you're looking for. And he's only a boy. And he's sitting beside a far older man. And you thought that he was his guide. Because the older man is blind. What brought you over in the first place? But it's the other way around. <laughs> the boy's blind. The older man isn't. The older man's the guide. Boy can't be much older than about nine. And... What really convinced you as you got there? Order of Torch. He's a member of the Order of Torch, which means he's a father. Wow. Which means he's much like everyone else here, blessed, but it's rare for them to be raised I so am. early. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Blind. Clearly, his eyes are milky white. As he looks in your direction as you arrive. Father? He nods once. Father. But it's... What are your thoughts on all this? I see nothing. Yet somehow they do. I see nothing. Nothing at all. And I don't really understand it. What do you think, Father? Before I came in here, I would have said we have to challenge the Emperor. We have to. Now I don't know. Someone else asked me who decided it was this binary choice. 
who decided we had only two options and to choose one of them. Is that a false dilemma? Is there another way? He starts to cry. I don't know. I always know. His tears flood down his cheeks. I always know what to do. I have since I was born. You've had this gift since birth? No. I guess I have nothing now. Nothing. Why are they so certain and I'm not? How do they know and I don't? Dude, the one beside him says, It's all right, calm down. He says, It's just, I know you don't normally get out of your cell. He says, It's all right. I, I want to go back home. I don't, I don't think they do know, Father. I think they're distracted. I think they're tricked. I think the world, the world is fallen, tainted, corrupted, and that's what they see, and that's influenced them. You hear a voice rising out clearly. The signs are everywhere! Almost on cue. Mm. <laughs> Again. The signs are everywhere! More! In his vestments of grain! Oh, no. <laughs> of course, and you see some nods at that. Father, have you heard this prophecy before? Pardon, more, sorry, I wasn't listening. He's talking about more in his vestments of grain. I had a vision three days ago. Death on the Reich. Stained hand. All yeah. that? Um, no, it was a purple hand. A purple hand? Oh, really? He says, but now I see nothing. Two other people have said that prophecy to me within the last day. And now someone over there is saying it too. And you hear someone else say, What's broken, King? And over there. Maybe it's. Well, maybe it. I don't know. I, I don't know anymore. Was that the last thing you. you saw? You knew was no. true? No. Everything I see is true. But I'm, I'm blind. That's what I mean. Was that the last thing you saw? That was, no. no, it didn't end no, with I that. I saw myself coming here. And then I came here, and now I see nothing. I want to go home. Can I go home? You're not allowed to leave until you've made your vote. There is another way. He can hit me. I'm not allowed to. You're not supposed it's to. It's not allowed. You're not supposed to, but they'd let you go if you did. He punches you in the gut. <laughs> Doesn't really do a lot of damage. <laughs> but that is enough. Um, and the berating that he gets from the priest who comes in, properly telling him off for allowing his emotions to get the better of him, he should never have been let out. As he's half dried, half escorted out. As then his eyes follow afterwards put his hands on his shoulder it's all right okay it's um interesting it seems to have not really changed any of the mood in the room there's about half an hour before you have to make your vote it's interesting though right so if sight is a distraction yes I guess Lupo will find somewhere out of the way so he doesn't get trod on and will close his eyes and will try and listen. And it is blessedly quiet as almost everything fades away. Almost everything. Barely a noise can be heard until it's pure silence. Nothing. You're blind. You can't see. You can't hear. Nothing. Interesting. I, 
like you'll probably just actually revel in that for a moment. <laughs> You're like, yeah. It's, again, it's a bit like being it around Alamena. <laughs> it's a bit. It's, it's that kind of. It yeah. feels almost holy. Yeah. In fact, not not even almost. I wouldn't say it feels holy. It feels like, you know, words are difficult. Your mind's trying to grasp something that it clearly doesn't comprehend. But this feels right. It feels calm. It feels like somewhere you can make the correct decisions. It feels like somewhere where you can hear the truth. And with the slight movement of the crack of the eye, the sound floods in. And closing, it's gone. As if everything's alive. Just, just to sort of test it with his eyes shut, like you know, like can he feel? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So he is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Quite. He's physically there. He's not. And there are rail there are people there are people around. Like, Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, what do you do with that? What do you do with that? What does that mean? Is that all this? Doesn't matter. That could be one interpretation. Does that mean that the Grand Theogenes has already made his mind up? That could be another interpretation. Gotta love visions. Or, or lack thereof. <laughs> Quite. They're like 100% precise. The lack of a vision is the vision. <laughs> what does that mean? That's exactly what the vision is. And if Leopold is getting this, mm -hmm. but is hearing other people saying that prophecy, but he's not seeing that prophecy. Correct. If this is Sigmar, mm. who the hell is that? <laughs> that is a fine question. Is he reasonably confident that that therefore is not Sigmar? That feels right. I mean, this is this is what they want, right? Bickering, bickering, Arguing. squabbling, squabbling. infighting, infighting. This is the same as Ubersreich. This is Ubersreich Part Two. Hmm. How does someone of Leopold's lowly status, like, make this lot see that? He doesn't. He knows the answer without yeah. even really thinking it. The, the fact he stated the question makes it as clear to him as it possibly could be. It's not just that he doesn't have the position or the influence. It's, it's, it's beyond all of that. Listen to all of the words. There's too many to fight. Yeah, he can't convince them. Yeah. It's, 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 it comes full circle, doesn't it? When he... When, when he had that crisis of faith in Sal and he didn't know what to do and he realised that what he had to do was not talk the talk but walk the walk. He had to, to do what Sigmar would want him to do. He had to walk the Empire and actually, you know, unite the land. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not tell others to do it, but go out and do it. The same here. He can't influence them. They've got nothing to tell him. He's got nothing to tell them. There's a mighty crash. I mean a mighty Is that crash. with his eyes shut? Don't know whether to open my eyes or not. <laughs> you, like, is that a vision that crash? Or is that a, well, he'll open his eyes and guess it's a real crash. <laughs> it's a real one. Oh. A weapon being wielded. Oh, no. Warrior priest has bashed against the door and has just gone through it out on the other side. He's just left. And you can hear the sounds of conflict on the other side. Apparently, he's not taking no for an answer in his desire to leave, which is we're arguably going against the, the word of Sigma. We're allowed to cast our ballot now, right? Um, you will cast your ballot at the end of the time. I thought we were allowed at any point inside the two hours. Well, you can cast at any point, yes, but you can't leave until we oh, I thought once we cast it, we could leave. You can give it a go. I'm pretty sure that's what the guy said. He's fighting his way out. Maybe he hasn't cast his ballot. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Well, I'll go find where the ballots are. Uh, <laughs> up in front. Is there, is there, is there like a 
a orderly anvil functionary hanging uh, around. Uh, the, the chap is sitting there, um, and he has a, a large stack of pre-printed papers, um, and it's got a simple yay or nay on it with the question at the top. So this is the abbot? Ah, uh, yes. So, hi, father? Ah, uh, yes. Um, hi, father? Uh, yes. Uh, you, you, you're looking for me, huh? D did I understand correctly that once we've cast the ballot, we are free to go? Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. No one else has. May I have the ballot? So, how big a piece of paper is it? Oh, it's, it's about so big. It's um, clearly been cut from a larger sheet that's been pre-printed put through blocks. Essentially, Leopold is planning to spoil this ballot. Yeah, I think that would be the case. <laughs> um, he hasn't got a lot of space to pen a massive... Um, right on the back of it, nail it yeah, on the wall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so has he, has he got what, space for a couple of sentences? Oh, more than enough, yeah. So something like this is what this... He reflects to himself with a degree of irony. It's when it would be handy to have Gerhardt around. Uh, <laughs> do you Gerhard? have compose? Uh, I do not. That is a, a, a basic skill. It is. It, it, sadly, no. So you're just going to be left with your. I mean, he's got entertaining intent. rhetoric. He could draw on <laughs> famous speeches that he's delivered in the past. Yeah, um, he, he certainly give it a go. Realistically, what's the point here? Something along the lines. I'm not writing this yet. He'll compose it in his mind. In fact, he'll close his eyes. And it all falls quiet. It closes his mind so that he's composing in that silence. And he's nudged. <laughs> He'll open his eyes again. Um, the place is empty. And a voice says, you need to make your vote, Father. Where did everyone go? You've been praying. I just closed my eyes for a moment. It can sometimes take us like that, can it not? Contemplation of what Sigma wishes of us all. I understand. As if that's normal. Oh, all right. I mean, it's never happened to me before, but I suppose if it were going to happen, this this would be the moment, right? You're the last one to cast your vote. Okay. I reject these choices. This infighting is what the Runa's powers want. Don't. <laughs> and in it goes. Here you go. Relief. Hang on. Am I going to get back to Old Dolph? It's a fine question. <laughs> they literally say that to him. Hang on. Am I going to get back to Old Dolph? How did you get here? Um, a couple of Inquisitors brought me in a coach. Inquisitors? Yeah, they had like a warrant signed by the Grand Theologist. It seems blunt. Yeah, I thought so. I still don't know how they found me, to be honest. Oh, I see. Um, no, that uh, most people arrive by coach. In fact, an entire omnibus was organised by the uh, temple. And I suspect they've all gone now. Oh, I think they probably have. Oh, you might catch them outside. Everyone's going to be mulling. Marvellous. I'll you see know. if I can catch a ride with someone. I'm sure someone will be able to give you a lift. Marvellous. He says. Thank you very much, I found it. And another one comes over and says to him, is that the mall? Yes, yes, that's the mall. <clears throat> Let's take them through. So if they go with that. This is very peculiar. <laughs> On the outside, indeed, there is milling crowds. They're all talking amongst themselves. It's almost like it wasn't a great debate anymore. Um, there's, it's the aftermath of the debate. Some of them it's are done. still entrenchedly in it's their position. Cast. Okay, but they're like, what's done is done. We now move on. It's nothing to do with us. This isn't our choice. What we've done is we have done our advisorial position. Um, someone else is asking... Uh, is this really the only the fourth time that there's been a schism of this death? Surely there's been hundreds, maybe thousands. I don't understand what law was triggered. Yeah, I mean, what I would love to do is find someone from the Order of the that looks like they might be able to tell me what the previous three were. Yes, yeah. um, that would be interesting um, Sigmar trivia. <laughs> and, and, and really, what what law was triggered? What triggered this? I mean, one of them must be about the time of three emperors. I would imagine. You would imagine so. At least one of them must be to do with that, because at some point they will have had to go against another emperor when there's more than one emperor. So I can see that causing a dilemma. Something if it's within the cult, it can't be before he was deified. Hmm. Fascinating. Wander around. Lupo's got a hobby now. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do yourself a gossip test. Let's see if we can uh, find ourselves someone of appropriate. Eight successes. Uh, and then can I follow that with a charm? Oh, well, well, they're um, cultists. Oh, 
it, charm is what the yes, test it is. Up with, so yeah. Charm test as well. Let's see if you can actually get it out of them. Um, three, four, five successes. Yeah, that'll do. <clears throat> you end up debating um, with a sister of Sigmar. Debating is too strong. Questioning might be better. <laughs> exactly how it came out. Now, she is of the Order of the Anvil. Um, she comes from an abbey not more than 20 miles from here. And interestingly, to answer your earliest question, it was just six months ago, actually, that Sigma came upon me. You can hear, literally hear Birdie <laughs> making lude comments from halfway across well, the empire. That's interesting. I thought you were saying I could hear the force of Alameno a smug grin <laughs> <laughs> from miles away. I think that's also that's fair. <laughs> you can, that, that's basking, emanating from her. Yeah, I can feel, so she's like, Leopold's just realized I'm right about something. <laughs> <clears throat> and she says we're not to discuss the previous it's it's only to be known by the generation I'm actually surprised that they didn't make a speech telling everyone that they had to be silent because they have to be father so I've been telling others that they should be quiet indeed I told my brothers and sisters that they should be spreading that particular word around as well we're not meant to be discussing this with others but the, and, and that, that aside, it, it, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? Fourth. Fourth. Um, there have obviously been many schisms, but it's generally handled by the Grand Theogenist. In this particular case, it's a precise law that is um, triggered to involves um, the emperor directly and heresy. Um, which I think is fascinating because we did not choose the actual... Um, I mean, I did not choose... It was the keeper of the word that chose it. He's the only one that can. And um, the keeper of the word, who is not actually here, contrary to what you might have thought from what they were suggesting, it's simply they have this particular monastery, the keeper of the word uh, is responsible for this trigger on heresy, which means that the keeper of the word believes that there is a potential that the emperor has corrupted. And I find that the most disturbing part of all of this. If I am to be absolutely honest, I am, I am horrified as to this whole situation. Now, obviously, the Emperor is as susceptible as anyone else, theoretically, but as he sits on Sigma's seat and he holds Galmaraz in his hands, he should be untouchable, incorruptible, as long as the correct care is taken to look after him. I find this very disturbing, Father, I find it very disturbing. And might I ask you to please spread the word as well, to tell others to not share this. This should not go in any diary or in any journal. This, this should not happen at all. And that was her opinion on it. Mm -hmm. mm. I mean, that very much backs up what Leopold's suspicions were, so that mm. does, does seem fair. You haven't got a ride yet. Mm. <laughs> and she's going in the opposite direction she says she's no good <laughs> best to see if I can um, let's start listening around for those Altdorf accents uh, that's the ones to go for if possible a Reichsport accent would be even better because <laughs> <laughs> you can identify that perfectly coming from the south if from um, Reichland at least you know. at least you're in the right area yeah. uh, right, do yourself a charm test Bum. I think that'll do oh critical oh whoa Nicely <laughs> timed. Uh, roll again. Let's get a number of successes out of this. How many do you get for the first so one? So we've got two, two already. Three, four, because of my talents. Plus another six. So <laughs> ten. That's ten on a crit. Assuming the talents don't trigger both times. Uh, they don't. They trigger once in the roll. Yeah. Um, perfecto. Uh, that that's great. As uh, oh, I'm linking that. <clears throat> he gets himself a lift home. He's looking around, almost rubbernecking, as he's attempting to go, oh, am I going to get back? Like, also, um, also, where the hell are we? Like, um, because he, he, didn't out, come, yeah, he didn't come directly yeah, he here. He came, he, yeah, he's come yeah. out the back, and yeah. at the back, there's there's coaches, yeah. there's people, there's a choir singing. So clearly um, not... The choir's no longer singing, because they're yeah. all leaving, but there's a choir still there milling around. So clearly not everyone was brought by the convoluted way that he was brought. No, it appears that he may have been almost alone in that regard. Mm. Interesting. <clears throat> 
as uh, you get a tap on your shoulder. A woman, priestess, clearly. Uh, she's got a full head of very red hair. You didn't see her in the general hubble. This is a minor aside. I'm yes. assuming I didn't see anyone else from the Silver Flame while I was here. Uh, no, you didn't. Because it's a very small order. You're, yeah, so, yeah, quite. Just, You're yeah. likely the only representative. Yes. Um, she's still wearing her black cloak um, over her robes. Uh, so you can oh, really... get to keep them. Uh, yeah, you get to keep them. <laughs> it's a special day. That's nice. Special day. I've <laughs> got my own special cloak. <laughs> my formal fancy cloak. <laughs> yeah, quite. Um, she's got um, a single symbol on her one. Um, and it's, again, unlike any of the other ones that you've seen previously, it's a boar. Ooh. Yeah, quite. I'll be doing a black tusk, presumably. You would presume that might be the case. Sigmarite. You're not aware of any order of the black tusk, but there are so many Sigmarite orders, it yeah. wouldn't surprise you if you weren't aware of a particular order. As um, she says, I couldn't help but notice you look like you need a lift. I really do. She says, the way you're doing this and the way you're doing that, she says, I'm going back to Aldorf. You going that way? I absolutely am. There we go. Come on this way. Thank you she very says, much. And she looks up at you. All right, where are you from? Your accent. Mm, it's tough to place. Well, I am so somewhat itinerant these days. Yeah, well, you would be. She says, I'm going to guess smell of Oberglen. Miles away. Not even close. Damn it. <laughs> you got a top of you got you sound like you've been in outdoor for a while. Not even that long. No, not really. Mm, all right. And he'll, he'll kind of rub his badge to let her know that that might be a clue as to where he spent some time. <laughs> I'm guessing Trade Center. You must have picked up a bit of the old outdoor from that then. So Trade Center, most Trade Center were. Um, Grumbled? Damn it. As um, <laughs> she uh, reaches um, a single coach off to the side, and on the side of it, there's a rampant boar. That's heraldry. Somewhat unexpected. Interesting. Definitely going to be asking Lucas and Gerhardt <laughs> about this. <laughs> so pretty unexpected. That's actual heraldry. Um, as uh, she opens out in your bathroom. Is there uh -huh. any particular colours or anything? Or? Um, uh, yes, it's um, uh, it's directly onto the coach, so it, you could argue it's got. Are you have got a black background, perhaps? But the uh, boar itself is gold. Is gold. 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 Interesting. Indeed. As um, she opens it up and I'm off you in. On the inside, it is a uh, rather plush, red, velveted curtain, leather, polished leather seats with nary a crack. And... Uh, and oh, they like cupboards under the seats. Definitely something going on there. <laughs> it looks comfy. Wow. This is, this and is, quite a lot of leg room. This is probably nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> chop, chop. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. sorry. <laughs> um, as uh, she taps twice and she says, wait, 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 where are you going? Um, ideally the Reichsport, but I'm as, not going to the as close as you're able to take uh, me. Where's well, going to be best? He's going to the right spot. What do you reckon is the best place? And you hear, well, I'm not so uh, mother. Um, well, there's all the trouble in centre, isn't there? We're going to have to avoid that. But but if we go around back of Palace instead of, I mean, there might not be much trouble there. It's a bit of a risk. Yes. Do, yeah, do that. As um, she comes in, sits down. So how did you? didn't. Oh, you spoiled your ballot. I did. Oh. Felt like the right thing to do. She pulls out hers. I panned mine. <laughs> <laughs> she said. Lupo will burst into laughing and will like, genuinely be applauding her. Oh, well done. I couldn't put it in. I just couldn't bring myself to. It just didn't, right. it just didn't feel right at all. It almost feels like like this is what they wanted, right? Us squabbling, bickering, infighting. I was almost won over by, um, do you know Father Gerlich? Oh, well, I was speaking to Father Gerlich. He's, he's an old pal of mine. You're not from Arthur. You won't know anyone, will you? I'm not anyway, Father Gerlich, he's, <laughs> he's, he's a good fella, right? And uh, 
he almost won me over with uh you know it's it's just an advisory vote that's all this is it's nothing about forming an entrenching sides or anything else it's just about we need to provide advice to the electors and no, oh, the capitulars as well. Bell Council's coming, and and that almost won me over. I was like, "Yeah, all right." I just didn't like it. I don't like any of this, if I'm honest. I, I was at the Temple of Sigma, actually, the cathedral. Hi, Temple, Temple of Sigma. What am I <laughs> so even which, talking about? Which one? <laughs> I'm I'm still a little bit shaky about this whole affair. Um. I was at the cathedral because um, we were summoned, obviously. And uh, this came out. They said it was the keeper of the word. It weren't. The keeper of the second word. Never heard of it. But it's a thing, apparently. Um, well, that was the monastery, the second word, right? Yeah. It, 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 it's it's where, where it's where this particular part of the sacred word is kept. Uh, and their duty is to study the word like all the rest of them, but it's just to activate this. It's what that place is for. That's it. And it's only been used apparently three times before, which I personally think is nonsense, don't you? Three times. I don't know. I was advised not to talk about it. <laughs> well, um, I, I think that pretty much says a lot, doesn't it? If people were advised not to talk about how many times it's been used and it just weren't recorded, it seems far more likely that there's secrets going on there. And the whole thing just felt... I mean, I like the cloak. Yeah, it's nice. This ain't cheap. I mean, how long have they been keeping them for? It's an interesting question. She's obviously a lot smaller than yeah, him. Much. Is her cloak shorter than his? Um, uh, no, what? it goes down to the ground. Right, okay. So, like, so, like that's what I was doing. Yeah, they, yeah. they haven't magically known no. her heights to it, tell it doesn't look like So it's a little whole, short on the it, look, little. it looks yeah. like they've had cloaks of different sizes and they've just attached clasps. Ah, got you. So um, they've, they've gone for the best fit. Yeah, quite. They, yeah. And they clearly knew what your order was. Yeah. They weren't asking. It's just something about all this. It's just, it just left me feeling, you know, wrong. I'm often, I'm often telling my flock. I get told off for calling them that, but I still do. <clears throat> that was mum. That's what I used to call them. Yeah, well, I, I came from a rural parish originally, and uh, that's just what I grew up with, you know. Dyrath, in my particular case, my mother. My mother was a priestess, and she always, she always said, me flock, me flock, me flock, and it's just sunk into me head, you know, me flock. Where bats was she based? Oh, we were down, oh, we toured around a bit when we were younger, but just down in the Harder Cribs. Near Sal? Oh, no, no, no. Sal, Sal's in the South. South! South. She says, no, I wasn't in the South. No, no, we, we, were, we, we were right in the middle, mostly. We... We didn't do much of it all. It was like a 100 mile loop. Um, she used to travel around, speak to women, that sort of thing. I'd get dragged around from place to place. <clears throat> it were her that I suggest that I go to Sigma. She said that it just suited me. And I don't disagree. Don't disagree. But I didn't like this. I didn't sign up for this. I don't know what, I didn't sign up for anything. That's my father. He was a merchant. He'd sign up for anything. <laughs> If it make him rich. What's this all about? What's the Emperor doing? I was asked by one of my flocks since we've started, so I'm going to continue. I was asked to me face. So, what should I do, mother? If me son is born altered? The Emperor says it's all right now. I did not answer that because to do so was to create a condition upon which they would either believe one thing or another, neither of which was palatable personally. I don't even know what to say. What do you do? How did this even happen? We're in the end times. So oh. were you here already? Sorry? Were you here already? I was just passing through. He's happened to be here. Huh. I still don't know how they found me. What do you mean? Who? I mean, the Inquisitors who brought me here. Inquisitors brought you here? Yeah, they had a warrant and everything. Well, that sounds wrong. Yeah, tell me about it. So, where were you? I was just in Oldorf. 
But we literally were there for a day. We were going to be leaving. Well, the they just day. picked you up. Mm-hmm. They were waiting. We were visiting somewhere, walked out, and there they were, standing in the street waiting for us with a coach and everything. That's suspicious. I also didn't get brought straight in, neither. I got brought a funny way through another temple, an under- tunnel underground. We had to pass through all these holy places. I felt like they was checking me out, make sure I wasn't, you know, a wrong one. Or that they weren't wrong ones. Very strange. What? I just can't even imagine why that would happen. It's dark games afoot. She leans forward, the coach rumbles on. So they just picked you up from the middle of nowhere when no one knew you were? And just happened to take you here? I mean, I was using my name. I wasn't in disguise. I am <laughs> sort of straight his arms. I am somewhat, you know, oh, you're I stand distinctive. out in the crowd. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you that. But how did they know where you were? Well, that I don't know. And if they were following the order, why weren't they at the Grand Cathedral? I don't know. But when a high priest, or rather a high inquisitor of the Order of the Cleansing Flame, turns up with a warrant, well, you have to go, don't you? Yeah, particularly. So if that, you did. Particularly if that warrant is signed by, you know, the Grand Theogenist himself. Oh, that's suspicious. You know what my mother used to say when you get suspicious? That something's wrong. She said, trust your guts. That's what my mother used to always say. Trust your guts. Your guts know best. She says, you've got a good gut. She used to say that to me a lot. You've got a good gut. You listen to your gut. My gut says that feels really, really wrong. Sorry, I didn't catch your name. What was it again? Leopold. Leopold, right. And, and you are? Didn't I tell it to you? Well, that's blooming embarrassing, isn't it? I tell you. What's going on? This whole thing has just got me on we're the all, edge of my seat, hasn't edge. it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. she. Mm. Um, gun elm. All right. How about. We pick it apart. How about we pick it apart? Let's take the weak point in this particular chain of events, which was them knowing where you were and being in a position of inquisitors, they could easily have someone that they were looking for and find them. Yeah, I I mean, I should say, day before we had stopped we just arrived in Ordorf and we stopped in a certain tavern that while we were drinking there we discovered was apparently frequented by like all the spies of Ordorf all right so they know you're there they're purposely picking you up for one reason or another now if they were at that meeting which I presume they were at that meeting that would suggest that they walk in Sigma's good grace Which means they should have been at the Grand Cathedral. Well, then, but they didn't have a warrant signed by the Grand Theogenist, so maybe he sent them away. What warrant was it? Warrant for me. Just for you? Just for me. It had my name on it, and if, granted, my name's only one name, but still. Bar two, Father Leopold. Why would they have that? For what? For what purpose? Make sure I came. So, why do they want you there? That I don't know. I, I'm, I will confess, when a high inquisitor picked me up, that meeting was not what I was expecting. I was expecting something significantly, I mean, as terrible and harrowing as that was, I was expecting something more personally aggrieving, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. My order, Order of the Silver Flame. Never heard of it. Based from Midnight. Oh, right. Uh, we protect the sacred flame. I'm protecting it right now. Order the Black Boar. 
I don't protect a big butt ball. Well, well that's he true. says. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> who would have guessed that? It feels like that would be a fool's errand if you did. No, it's, but um, it's, 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 yeah. bef- before that, I was in the order of the torch for a while. Yeah, that's where we all start. That's where I was too. And I may not have left under the best circumstances. And I did wonder whether it was some lingering resentment over those unfortunate circumstances, but clearly not. But why? I don't understand. Oh, was it? Did it? Well, there is one thing. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if I, Well, let me ask you first of all. When did? Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> if you'll forgive the expression, when did Sigma come upon you? And you can hear Birdie again. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I mean, give me a straight face. About six and a half months ago. About, I'd say, I was praying and and just light. It came all around me and it just felt, you know? It's really hard to describe. I, I try to describe it. I mean, the priest came around to ratify it, gave, gave me my title, Blessed. Oh, you're blessed. And, and there were lots of questions. But from that point forwards, everything was different. I, I just felt right, I suppose. I suppose. I tried to discuss it with, with the priest who came and was talking it all with me and he wasn't much help. I think they have a programme or something for this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, it was the most terrifying thing that ever happened in my life. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it felt right. I was terrified. I was just, I was just confused. I was, uh, I had some trouble with me. I mean, what was it like for you? I had some trouble with just some of me flock and I wasn't sure what to do. I sat down and I was trying to find a decision. I felt, I thought I'd figured it out and then suddenly it just came down from nowhere. Didn't make sense. It didn't seem to be connected to anything. I'd done anything. I'm not special. You'd made a decision though. What was the decision you made? I decided that, uh, um, well, they had, be- they had to sort it for themselves. I decided not to help them, actually. I decided to give them the tools to help themselves. That seems... I mean, which in and of itself was helping them, which is part of the debate I was having. Yeah. That's interesting. It was something similar with me. I went against the cult's political doctrine in order to support Sigma's spiritual doctrine. I am... Um, I employed, or that's not the right word, I didn't pay her, I solicited the support of a priestess of Bayraf. Um <laughs> Like me, my mum. Yeah, that's why I was asking. Um, well, that's but, interesting. But that was in Sal. And, yeah, but I may be, I mean, <laughs> right, don't tell anyone. All right. But, you know... On, on a high day, like I opened up the temple, there was stuff growing in the Temple of Sigmar and everything. It was, you know, it was what we needed. On the solstice. Yeah. The, <laughs> we'd had, there'd been a blight, a bad blight. The people were going to starve and die. I had to do what I had to do, look after me flock. So I called in, I was like, Sigmar is responsible for the empire, right? He's responsible for, for looking after the people in his empire and the people of his empire worship many deities who have their different areas of expertise. And if the people in my area I'm responsible for needed the expertise of a priestess of Bayraf, then a priestess of Bayraf they would have. Um, it turns out that the high priest in, in Ubersreich and the local lord who's, you know, statue. Before Ubersreich. Yeah. Got I me. Mean, yeah. It's not that hard. I, I said it, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, him and, and the local lord who, you know, donated some shiny gold, but I did sell off. Um, to to feed to, to to feed to feed to feed my flock, they didn't they didn't appreciate that. So, uh, so all, got, order the torch no more. Shafted by politics. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm surprised. But me. the high priest had enough, enough good grace and enough respect for what I was trying to do, to suggest that a different order might suit my um, aspirations better. Um, he didn't sing me out this one, but he sent me on the road, and. My feet found their way to midnight. Yeah, all right. So how did your feet find your way to that seat? 
I've got a different question for you then. This one comes from me ma. Me mother had a particular way of thinking, yeah? And she was always saying that everything is interconnected and linked. And when it's not, there's a reason for that. And when it is, there's a reason for that. And when something looks suspicious, all you do is you go back through the links and you find out why it's suspicious, you know? So the question is, what was I on your mind when they did get you? What was it that they wanted to introduce? Who? Oh, sorry. I've... Whoever picked you up. These fellas mm -hmm. who put you through a whole bunch of things that made you feel righteous and holy and all right, mm -hmm. yeah? What was it they were trying to pass on as a message? Through you. Look through the connections. So what was on your mind? But when they picked me up? Yeah. Prophecy. Oh, yeah. Prophecy. 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 Uh, yeah, there, that, that is, I was going to mention this earlier, there is another important detail that may be a factor, um, which is, I think, I know, I am, uh, although you might not believe me, a seer. I get visions from Sigma. You're, you're speaking in a most uncomputed way. Yeah. Anyone I've ever met who's a seer is normally surrounded by people with incense. And I also, you know... I see. Hmm. But I'm a seer. That might have been a factor. The strangest thing happened as well. I had a revelation when we were in there. In fact, I wonder if it's still... And he closed his eyes just for a second. Nope, nothing. Interesting. <laughs> I had a revelation about why seers are blind. Normally. Because the world is all tainted and corrupted by the influence of the ruinous powers. And so all of us there were squabbling over what we were doing. We are basing it all not on, on Sigmar's will, not on on some ineffable, ephemeral, godly power. We're basing it on what they can see and think and feel, be that in books, be that in conversations, be that political aspirations, motivations, ramifications. They're all distracted by that. None of that is Sigma. All of that is compromised. And I had that revelation. And then when I closed my eyes, it was absolute silence like there was no one else in that hall all right so i have a couple of questions then in return so you are uh do they does anyone know you are that um i mean i've had it but do they know it i mean is this something that someone said hey that fella oh yeah he's always spouting stuff i mean the answer is probably no you're no i mean it's not yeah because he's not secret about it but nor is he brazen about it he, he just right. is a, so is a, so know. so so then if that's the case then maybe that is not what they wanted whatever you're seeing so what is it that they did actually want so to speak you haven't said the prophecy but just to make oh. sure that's clear oh, I said okay. prophecy and you were like oh yeah oh yeah 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 totally you well, haven't made that particular yeah. revelation well, you? there's a particular prophecy yeah and I have heard it now three times in the space of the last day and I was thinking about that around the time they picked me up and when I got in the carriage I'd heard it once the night before and I got in the carriage and one of them said the old prophecy himself. Oh, right. right. And, then, and then in there, where we go, one of them said the prophecy. But I don't think that prophecy comes from Sigma. Well, that's not a good sign, generally, is it? No. I mean, who is it? It could come from anyone. Good, bad, indifferent. But if you're getting picked up with your head full of that nonsense, you go there probably expecting to say that nonsense or something similar to it or support that nonsense. Oh, I saw this. Yeah, it's definitely true or whatever. And then suddenly you go and you're there and you're like, yeah, actually, no. No, I'm not saying that. 
I mean, that says something. Mm. I don't know what it says, but it says something. It says like maybe they didn't know I was a seer. Maybe they won't expect me to have a true vision. And all those other ones think they got it. Mm. Perhaps they didn't enter the seer career. <laughs> they decided they wanted to be boatmen. <laughs> <laughs> Quite. It's just an entire room full of boatmen. <clears throat> well, they don't... <laughs> Well, I got a few things to say to that. You know, following about me Mars links and such like. So, so say say you're telling the truth, yeah. Say this is all, well, obviously you're not lying, but say you've got the right of it. That's a better way of putting it. Then that would suggest that whoever was sent to see you is either working for or is uh, responsible for wanting to see that sort of thing disseminated possibly as unknowing as you were it might be a link within a bigger chain so to speak mm. so that doesn't mean that these fellas are bad per se they might be fine they might be all right i mean certainly that but it does mean that there's potentially someone influence them oh who's got the ability to do that i don't even want to think about who's got the ability to do that well yeah i mean you can think of particular brand of yeah mm. oh well I I almost certainly have a recommendation for you don't use a different name <laughs> yeah yeah publicly mm. I mean I, I all I did was pop out to the temple that, go down to the monastery come back I responded to something. Saw it. I mean, do you think? I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't even want to say this, but I'm gonna. The fact that the warrant was signed by the Grand Theogenist himself. Oh, someone who claimed to be. I mean, it looked like a seal. It looked very big and very formal. I wouldn't know it if I saw it, though. No, that's true. I just wonder if he might be a problem. Oh, I mean, that's a tiny amount of reticles you can get. Well, say the Emperor's a problem. Well. <laughs> and he's all gestured back down the road for travelling. Well. <laughs> oh. Oh, my mother. My mother said I was a trouble. Never believe anything sitting in front of you. <clears throat> you hear it from above. <clears throat> Six shillings. Uh, as it passes through gates, paying tolls. Six shillings. Fucking hell, that's expensive. Fancy coach. Yeah, must be. Cop, 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 cop. As you're passing through and you begin to hear the hubbub of the city of Altdorf in the background. Well, what can you even say? It looks like someone has got an agenda and they tried to fix it for you and you fought against it. That is interesting. Seems like you're a good fella. I wonder which way they voted. She says taking out her pound. Wonder what it all means. I was the last one. Oh yeah. Hmm. Got lost in prayer. Time just passed. I got nudged. Everyone else was gone. Interesting. And then I spoke me about it. <laughs> what would you have done if you uh, if you hadn't seen this nothing? Oh, I was going to spoil me about it anyway. I'd made that decision. I was. I closed my eyes to to get some peace to work out exactly what to write and then I was nudged no I mean bef well, before before if for example you hadn't come in and you'd been all prophecy 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 where do you think you would have gone if you'd have gone you might not I think I'd have said we had to challenge the emperor I think that was what I was thinking before we went in when I was reading the stories 
when I read in the broadsheets about the edict. She makes the sign of the hammer on her chest. Yet Sigma took you on a different path. Yeah. I'm telling you, this is this is what they want. They want the squabbling. They want the infighting. This is the same as Uber Strike. It's the same thing. What can you do? I don't even know what to do. Go back to my order, I suppose. Except they've sent me here to tend to a blooming temple. Never did understand. Is this that. not where your order's based then? No, 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 no. We're in Talbot. Link. Yeah, but to you, south. But you've been sent to Oldorf. Uh Yeah, I was sent uh, two months ago because of, obviously, everything what did happen. I was in Altdorf at the time. Because of oh, well, well, Sigma coming upon me, is, you know. Oh, right, that, that. Yeah, <laughs> you know, pretty big event. Yeah, no, life. that's fair enough. That's fair enough. <laughs> um, and I went back to the order, and the order sent me right back here, and just, you do that there. Didn't expect that. Do you know who was behind the order? I have no idea. I just got told to do it by. Just seems interesting that they wanted to keep. The capitula. She 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 was the one who told me. She, she was like, off you go. But that doesn't mean it was her. I mean, I imagine it was her who tells her what to do from the Grand Theorganist. <laughs> well, so one of the things I got told by the high priest, who, you know, admittedly was <laughs> expelling me from his diocese, but he he did warn me that that if the Grand Theorganist and, and you know, the, the High Cathedral found out that I was blessed, that they would pull me into Old Off and I wouldn't get out. Well, there you go. Warn me not to spend, <laughs> warn me not to go there, but you can't not go to Old Off, can you? It's bloody spoken the wheel, right? <sighs> well, but we're about if, to drop you off. What if this is why? What if this is why people like us were being gathered here for this? To lend legitimacy to Discord. I mean, that's that's a bit much. I mean, that's that's just. I mean, you're talking almost from Magnus this time. Yep. But it does seem like there's been a lot more of us of late, right? Well, there were more there than I expected. Mm, a lot more. Yeah. Yours was six months ago. I spoke then, to someone else who was only two months ago. Let, let's say it is, if we're moving towards some form of end times, you'd think that, you know, we need the help. You can hear all in a way. Witches! <laughs> <laughs> Suppress that thought. Suppress that thought. <laughs> um, as the coach um, slows and you hear a bum, bum, bum. Well, it looks like this is probably where you should be getting off. Right, thank you very much for the lift. Um, where is your temple in case um, you need to correspond? I'm, in, uh, I'm uh, over by the Temple of uh, Moor, you know the graveyard? In the north? Yeah. I'm um, the next temple over, over on, it's prosaically called Todd Templestrasse, which I thought was a bit on the nose. <laughs> Yeah, but who might say it's the well, it's my temple now? It's rare to get that kind of clarity in Oddorf, though, is it? So yeah, it makes it easy. Yeah, uh, it's it's a small old rundown temple uh, with a small old population. Should I should I feel the need to correspond? Oh, I'll, I'll I'll respond. I probably won't use my name, given your advice, but I'll make reference in the first paragraph to Diraf. Mm. How about you go by the name of uh, Ignatius? Ignatius, I like Ignatius. I like that name, Ignatius. Yeah. Ignatius, that'll be a pen name. I like that. <laughs> um, she, she <clears throat> you can call me. She smiles. Uh, I mean, I'll be writing to you in your temple. So yeah, I'm, I'm just uh, <laughs> yeah, just use me name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I mean, if you'd like, if you'd like. No, 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 no. Just, j just use me name. I feel stupid now. <laughs> she says gun elm of the gilded boar well it's not wrong yeah she says opens up go on piss off <laughs> have a good day or night <clears throat> you got a bit of a walk ahead of you um to go back now the question is um you're just going to go straight back to said barge i can't think of anywhere else you'd want to go 
frustratingly because he thought he was going to get arrested gave his money to Lucas he doesn't yeah. have any money um, yes he did yes he did may have come up in Gerhardt stream <laughs> as some of you may know <laughs> I do believe I that very possibly Ed spoke to the camera and apologised <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> If he spent all my money, <laughs> we'll find out soon. That boy's getting pushed in the river. I'm telling you, I'm calling it now, people. He's getting pushed in the river. Uh, um, I can see it. It's a vision. Uh, yeah, um, you have a small issue of potentially having a tool to get out into the Reich's port. Hopefully, I can charm them out of that. Yeah, you might be able to. You priest are priest of Sigma, fancy yeah, robes. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. common for it's common for priests to have um, oaths yeah. of poverty. So, I, I, I mean, in which case I will take off the fancy cloak wise move yeah bundle that up bundle that up wrap it up yeah. you're fine now hold it in yeah. tie it round to like a belt sash thing or something I don't know not going to no, work very yeah. well no you better just Bund- bundle it, it inside the shield yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'll do it under the shield it, it looks nice. like a like a blanket or something that it might sleep on yeah so uh, charm test to get through and that is all it's going to require they're quite used to allowing priests through as long as they have a decent piece oh critical oh wow one of them want to give me a breastplate while I'm there? Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, but they do make a donation. Oh, nice. Um, uh, you get yourself three silver shillings and oh. tuppence um, because it's always good to donate to the itinerant wandering priest with oaths of poverty. I'll, I'll give them a nice little, um, yeah, nice little blessing. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Nice. As you arrive back at the barge, really, really late. Now, let's think of the time and how long you're going to be out. You're going to be well past midnight now. Uh, probably sitting around about two in the morning for you to crawl up into your uh, bunk by yourself because there's no one else here. Well, you Joseph. Joseph's here. I mean, okay. in, your, in your cabin. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Not in the entire barge. No, okay. Yeah. But there's yeah, no one else in your cabin. Um, you're bunking with Elric, I think, which makes sense. Um, I think I honestly can't remember, but yeah, yeah. I think it's Elric, and uh, it makes sense because he's off doing his yeah. thing, as you know. So it makes he's sense. He's also probably still in the half about the whole prophecy thing. Wait, wait till he gets the latest update. <laughs> <laughs> bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> it's bullshit. <laughs> Possibly, like y- y- yeah, but also no. <laughs> Quite as uh, next morning, um, Joseph will be up early. You'll be doing your prayers. And you get to know that literally no one else is on the boat. They're all elsewhere. Where? He goes, I have no idea. Would you like some wine? It's a good way to start the day. Definitely. Did they... I'm doing business today. Did they come back? Uh, Like yesterday we went off. Can't say that for certain because I don't know what Birdie's doing. Um, okay. let's just presume maybe <laughs> the, the boat's empty yeah. um, and you've got a day largely to yourself well, did, did, did it, well I mean did anyone other than Birdie come back um, no no so yeah um, I mean that's weird even if Birdie did come back yeah, yeah totally but they'll all be back by that evening uh, marvellously uh, the evening where he intends to leave or the morning after um, Joseph and yeah they'll all come back and dribs and drabs Lucas and um, Gerhardt will come back together Elric will come back late in the afternoon and birdie will probably be back even though i've not done it yet i'm pretty sure when i know she'll be back you may will be back late in the afternoon um alam and wife will be back late in the afternoon and um we can worry about what they are now wearing in comparison to what they were when you get to meet them excellent and uh that was that that was that and joseph's doing business you said uh, yeah he's doing business today so you're um, largely left to your own devices yeah, I mean, can help him if that'd be useful um not at all he's just doing business in the merchant hall and uh he can't legally uh stack the barge you need yeah. the stevedore skill to do that so they'll be responsible for stacking up all the stock that he hits meaning that you're largely left to your own devices yeah, to kick just, back just wander around the right port look at a market or two yeah see how much a breastplate costs cry <laughs> <laughs> breastplate um, I do believe I think it's 10 gold just double check yes it's 10 gold what about boiled leather one uh, boiled leather is pretty cheap as I recall boiled leather um, three, we'll be... three shillings uh, <laughs> no we're no. talking probably around about 12 to 15 shillings I wonder if Joseph's good for a loan <laughs> yeah he's not <laughs> he's seen my purse <laughs> yeah but he's not <laughs> maybe when everyone's back and I think that's it I think we're um, happy there. I'll I'll end you off with, just to finish the day, since you're wandering around the... uh